Xichang is a city that links Bashu in the north with Yunnan and Myanmar in the south. It has a rich history and culture. It is also home to the largest population of the Yi ethnic group in China. You can see the diversity of Yi culture in their colorful costumes, shiny silver accessories, lively folk songs, and delicate lacquerware. Zhang Shengong is a rural envoy from Alibaba Group who has been working in Zide County for a year and eight months. I have been living in Shida County for a year and eight months, and I have learned about the intangible cultural heritage of lacquerware and e embroidery. In order to learn more about the lacquer art and preserve it, Mr. Zhang, his team from Alibaba Public Welfare and Scan Tech have found two inheritors of the craft of Yi Lacquerware, a national intangible cultural heritage project. They are Jiwu Wu Chia, a national representative, and Jiwu Wu Ga, a provincial representative. Yi Lacquerware used to have only over 20 types of objects because they did not apply the decorative patterns to tables and stools. Now, they have more than 80 types of objects with different patterns. Yi lacquerware may be the only food utensil in China that is still used by ordinary people on a daily basis, as it is essential for traditional Yi families. Lacquerware has been an essential part of the Yi people's life and work for centuries. It reflects their unique ethnic traditions and culture. It also shows their special aesthetic values. They only use three colors for their lacquerware, black, red, and yellow. Black symbolizes dignity and decency, red symbolizes bravery and enthusiasm, and yellow symbolizes beauty and brightness. These paint are made from a mixture of natural mineral and resin. The traditional patterns of the Yi lacquerware are similar to those of the Han ethnic group, as well as those of Chu state during the Warring States. However, these patterns have slightly different names and meanings. For example, this is a combination pattern, which is called Shanshui Wen or Shanshui Tu. It means mountain and water, and it is a pictorial pattern. The two yellow lines are the Tianhe pattern, which was only used by the ruling class at that time. It means that everything in the world is under my control. The craftsmen draw patterns on the vessels with various subjects from the sun, moon, stars, mountains, rivers, animals, plants, myths, legends, and daily scenes. They create stunning and original lacquerware that lasts for a long time. Even after a hundred years, the colors are still bright and the patterns are still clear. The most important thing we are doing now is promoting and popularizing intangible cultural heritage. In the past two years, we have introduced intangible cultural heritage into schools so that most of the young people can learn about and appreciate their own ethnic culture, including the craftsmanship of the products. By doing this, we hope to spark their interest and understanding of this skill. Zhang Shengong cares about the future of this intangible cultural heritage. He works with his colleagues from Alibaba Public Welfare and other partners to protect and pass on this skill. We can protect and pass on intangible cultural heritage through digital technologies, as well as training and employment programs. Using 3D scanning technology, these exquisite lacquerware are captured as digital data and stored as 3D digital archives. No matter if they are elegant dishes and wine vessels, intricate utensils with various patterns, or vivid ornaments, they can all be faithfully reproduced in one-to-one -one scale with 3D digital technology. These 3D digital collections enhance the exhibition experience, revitalize intangible cultural heritage, and enable more people to enjoy the enchanting beauty of intangible cultural heritage from their homes. For lacquerware, we have recently launched an 88 VIP digital collectible project, which creates beautiful images of our lacquerware for buyers on Taba and Tmall to collect. Every time they collect an image, we will make a donation to protect the intangible cultural heritage skills of lacquerware. This is just the beginning, and I believe that there will be more opportunities to protect intangible cultural heritage and support its inheritors in the future.